Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we discuss time intelligence functions in Power BI. Before we begin, we have to understand what is time intelligence. So time intelligence actually pertains to calculations over a specific period of time. It may be that we want to calculate the sales or profit over dates, right? Now those dates might be at the day level of granularity or at the month level, quarter or year. Now there are many uh, Power BI DAX functions that are available at our rescue. So we can go ahead and do a year to date calculation or a quarter to date, month to date and so on. So before we begin the time intelligence journey, there are certain prerequisite which is required, right? So in order to calculate the DAX functions, there are two ways in which we can use our date dimension. Remember, we will be discussing mainly uh, about two functions which are called total YTD and dates YTD which lets you to do the year to date calculation. Uh, similarly, you are having total QTD and total MTD for the quarter to date and month to date. Absolutely similar but we will try to keep things simple and we will just first of all see how to do the year to date calculation. Okay, to, to invoke these two functions, what we need to keep in mind is we absolutely need a date dimension. Okay, and from that date dimension, we have to use a date column. So, for example, if I need, if I am telling you that, okay, give me the sum of sales, you will ask me based on what, right? Based on a particular date for day one of January, you have sold 100. Day two of January, you have sold 200. So you need that date column desperately. Without that, you won't be able to do any sort of time intelligence calculations. Remember this. So now how can you create that date dimension? Now the date dimension can either be created using a custom script like the one that I have shown you over here. You can just copy paste this in the M, uh, M query inside your Power, uh, Power Query editor and create your own date dimension. Or you can use the built-in, the default one that Power BI provides. If I quickly go to Power BI desktop, so you see these icons over here, for example, due date, right? Order date, right? So all these dates are having this calendar icon and are having a hierarchy where year, quarter, month and day is specified. Now, if you are creating your own date table, you can go ahead and turn this off because it's very expensive calculation for each and every field power bi is is creating an extra date uh, table behind the scenes so one date table for due date one date table for order date one date table for ship date it's a very expensive operation so what you can do you can create your own date dimension turn them off how to turn them off simple go to file go to options and settings go to options and then you need to go to current file data load there is an option of auto date time under time intelligence turn that off click on ok magic see this goes away no calendar function that icon before due date or before order date the hierarchy is also gone or before ship date right so to keep things simple i won't be using the custom date function i'll be using the default date function that power bi provides so i'll go to file again go to options and settings this was just i was showing you how to do this and uh, go to data load on a current file and i'll turn on the auto date time for power bi which will bring back the icon and the hierarchy okay great now so data data so most important thing is data so i have two files over here and by the way i'll be giving the pbx file as a link in the video description so you can download the pbx file and practice yourself there are two things okay financials and fact internet sales let us study the data let us go to the data tab if i click on the date for financials you see date the sales are happening there is a sales column there is a date column now the sales are happening only on the first day of the month correct knowingly i have kept this example right so i wanted you to understand that even if the date is happening on one day of the month then also you'll be able to use the time intelligence and even if the date is a uh, sales are happening let's say for fact internet sales the uh, the order date is the date on which let's say the sales are happening so if i click on order date the sales are happening 
daily basis first july second july third july fourth july fifth july right so i'll give you both the examples let us straight go to the first example for financials where the you know sales are happening on the first day of the month correct so power bi automatically does a group buy on date and it is going to give the sum of sales entire sum of sales for the month of september so how now let us go ahead and try to understand what is an ytd let me zoom in a bit see what is ytd calculation look at the sales this figure 44 plus 92 right for that is the sales for september plus october you get this value 137 this one right if you want the sales for the first three months september october november these three you will get this guy 210 right in simple words it's doing going to do a running total so it will sum up all these values and you will get the values in the corresponding rows but since it's ytd the running total will be limited only for that particular year so if i draw a line distinguishing the 2013 and 2014 values look the running total comes still here right till december and then it stops for 2014 we are going to bring we are going to calculate again so the first uh, january value for 2013 is 66 right so see this this is starting from 66 again the second is 72 so 66 plus 72 that is 139 correct so that is what a ytd calculation does let us quickly take a look at the measure that we have written so the first measure is total ytd how are we going to do the sales and what is the uh, you know syntax for total ytd let us see the syntax as well keeping the syntax side by side so the this is the syntax for total ytd now anything anything within angle brackets is mandatory okay and these brackets uh, anything with within these brackets okay are optional so total ytd is enough if we give two parameters one is the expression the other is the date simple that's it so for total ytd the first thing is expression which we have given and second thing is dates dates means it expect it is going to expect a date column so we are going to get the sales based on what based on financials date column correct very very simple so that's how you are going to calculate the total ytd now one thing important thing which i will try to explain also in the second sheet if you delete this date and and just click on date you see this dot date dot day dot month these things are coming that's because behind the scene as i told you power bi is going to calculate a date table and it's going to expect which column are going to select from that particular date table but remember in this case we are not using a hierarchy right if you click on over here it is a date not a date hierarchy so do not give that dot date if you give the dot date there will be a problem see let me show you i give dot date click on enter okay see my data is such that it is going to the data the sales is only for the first day of the month correct and what it will do is total ytd i have i have i have given the dot date so it's expecting a hierarchy but i have not given a hierarchy over here so look the sales is going to remain same 66 72 55 it's not going to do a roll up so whenever you are not using a hierarchy remember there is no need to give this dot date so as soon as i remove this dot date click on enter you should be getting the correct values again rolling up 44 plus 92 137 so on for 2013 and again it begins fresh from 2014 i hope you are clear with the dot date thing now the second function dex function that we are going to uh, use is dates ytd let's see the syntax for dates ytd it is very simple again this is optional okay so dates ytd is very very simple it takes only one date column 
as a mandatory parameter over here we are going to provide that uh, one mandatory column which is financials of date and remember dates yTD is always going to be used inside the calculate function so calculate sum of sales what calculate what it is the sum of sales give me the sum of sales over dates yTD that's it so I hope you are clear with both total yTD and dates yTD both of them are pretty much simple doing the same thing uh, but dates yTD gives you more flexibility because calculate is involved now you can give multiple filters right you can give four filters five filters country equal to India uh, region equal to maybe Karnataka and so on so I have specially created the date hierarchy again so that we can go ahead and discuss this let me go ahead and start fresh so if I click on only the date what happens you are going to get all the 31 days of January all the 28 days of February but look as soon as I click on sales you're going to get one row per month why that's because as I showed you financials are going to have only the sales will be at the beginning of the month so only one row is available for sales that's why you're getting all the other rows are getting eliminated only day one of that particular month is having sales again let me go ahead and show you what happens if i click on this particular measure sales using total ytd with dot date how have i written this look again this dot date thing is coming up try to understand over here i have to give the dot date because it is a hierarchy as i told you earlier right date has year quarter month and day over here i hope you're able to see this this one right this is the hierarchy now as soon as i am giving this hierarchy i have to give my dot date else it won't calculate correct let me cross and show you so why are the other blanks because there are no sales for 2nd of september till 30th of September there are absolutely no sales let me zoom correct hence what will be the running total the running total will stay 44 84 0, 0, 0. same running total will repeat till 30th September again what happens October 1st again there is a sale 92 that 92 gets added with 44 and you get the cumulative sum of 137 which repeats till October 31st so I'm trying to give you different sort of examples where you are clear that the data can be in any form there might be a sales for one day of the month or there might be continuous sales so for the continuous sales let me go to fact internet sales sheet and show you how the data is there see the data actually represents for the sales are actually going to be there for the order date now the sales has happened for each and every day of the month first of July there is a sale second of July there is a sale third of July there is a sale and so on Similarly, I have calculated both uh, the total YTD and the dates YTD. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how I have done the calculations. Uh, let me select the sales using total YTD one, uh, sorry, total YTD method one, which is the same. I'm just calculating the look why. Okay, we will be able to understand this better now. I'm calculating the total YTT sale sum of sales amount based on order date. Same, let me go to dates YTD. Absolutely same. So I'm calculating the sum of sales amount inside calculate, the only difference, and using dates YTD. Correct. And it's going to give me the absolute same result. Dates YTD and total YTD. So I hope uh, you're clear about the dates ytd and the total ytd dax functions if you're liking my videos please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and do not forget to press the bell icon to get all the updates from this channel